Dun 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 Edgar TV. How do there, the Edgar Nation, and welcome back to Edgar TV. Now, what I'm going to look at today is five common effects of negative performance within darts. Now, this isn't the full book. I've got a book of about 100, 200, probably even more than that, I'm probably even understanding this massively, of common negative effects that affect people within darting performance. Now, I've been a coach professionally for around 10 years. I started privately coaching darts roughly about a year or so ago. Um, so I've got a big book of things that have come up and issues and that have been raised. And, and so either way, you, you can see all this sort of stuff in the description below. I've got a profile page on there if you want to go check that out. But today, five common effects. Now, these aren't the top five. These are just five common effects that I decided to put in because I think they'll be the most relatable. I would be very surprised if you watch these five common effects and you haven't experienced this yourself or been closely linked to somebody who's experienced this either in your team or down the local. Okay, so five common effects. Let's have a look. So by no means am I saying these are the top five. These are just five that I picked out of my book of regular issues. And you'll see here on dart number three, moving forward. Very, very common issue comes because you know that the next thing to do is to move forward and you're trying to pre-plan and forward project what's going to be happening and you see the movement here on dart three again exactly the same here with darts one and two i know that i need to take my dart so instead of following through i move straight to pick up the next dart matthew you require 67 ah uh, now this is a lot more common than you think where you want a nice big segment and you miss it. How many times do you also see where someone wants something like 54 and they, they miss that, but then they hit, and then they hit the tiny little section at the top, which is the double. How many times do you see that happen? It happens quite often, because what happens is we bypass the bigger section. We think it's a given, we think it's an easier target. And sometimes when we think something's a lot easier, it actually makes it a lot harder because it seems and perceives it as a lot more simple task. And then we overthink. Think of the cube. The cube works on this perfect. Drop the ball in the bucket, you get 10 grand. But then all of a sudden I'm going to stand there, I'm going to hold it like this, I'm going to try and get my fingers off. It makes a simple task hard. It's exactly what we're doing here. The study at the University of Plymouth covered this exact theory. And it talks about external factors and how external factors work actually better and proven on the tests than internal factors. So rather than me stand there thinking of my throw, what I do is I pick a focus point on the 14. So I might pick the centre of the 14. Rather than just throwing directly at that number, which makes it seem easier and in turn more likely to miss, we pick out sections in the target. This study I will put in the link below so you can have a read of it yourself. A great document. This take your time call is one of those bad habits that come mostly from when you're playing in your pub leagues and you hear it all the time. I used to hear it quite a lot. Take your time. Breaks your rhythm for number one. And the second thing it does, it actually causes anxiety and builds anxiety rather than removing that. Very, very few people are able to do this. Kevin Painter, Rob Cross too, that spring to mind. So it is achievable, but it's very, very unlikely that it's going to be working as I can only really know those two. Now... This take your time call, like I said, builds anxiety. The best example for this is if you think of a roller coaster. How many times have you been sat on a roller coaster and you're going up that roller coaster hill and then when you get to the top, if you could press a button that instantly changes that feeling and gets you off that ride, you would. But because you don't, you've got to go over and you go through with it and you get all those good feelings and all the good stuff happens that happens on roller coasters for most of us. Okay, exactly the same here. You're building that anxiety and you're going up that roller coaster hill, but what you're doing is you're stopping it. Go with it, go over, keep your rhythm, keep your form. Take your time is not the best call in that situation. Preparation is done 
from the moment your darts come out the board to the moment you come back to the hockey. And that should be the same for you all the time. Don't let the situation influence the moment. Now this one comes from trying to make sure of a situation. I want the double 16. Now what we tend to see is we tend to see that form and that rhythm break again. So people might set a dart or even when they don't set a dart. Or the other thing that people tend to do is they tend to move the arm back slower. So they try to make sure and what they do to make sure is they slow down the motion of throwing the dart. You can still throw the dart, but heavily compromised to what your normal form is. You didn't play the whole game like that. Why start now? You got to that position because of your form. Why start pulling it back slower? Throw exactly the same. Remember the roller coaster theory. really need to hit this double 16 first start to get this 27 average oh, missed it now you've still got two darts to win the match forget about the average win the match we also always assume our opponents are gonna hit a nine data and that they're never going to miss anything i've really got with this double 16 because he wants 170 he ain't going to be missing that oh i don't want to give him that Oh, come on, take your time. There is obviously loads of examples I could give for forward negative projections, but these are just a couple so you understand what I mean by this. And don't take that as gospel, it's not definitive, it's a generic sort of if the cat fits, wear it type routine. There will always be exceptions to the rules, so the only way you're ever going to get that is with a personal plan. I can't realistically speak to a couple of thousand people and make it relevant for everybody. There's going to be different things for different people. But if you have a look in the description below, you'll see Dart's personal training plans, get my credentials, and if you want to get a personal plan for you. If that is not your thing, don't worry, just hit the subscribe button, I will be uploading plenty more videos, information videos, things to look for in your game and ways that you can fix them over the next coming weeks.